because a super mega fight, one of the biggest heavyweight fights in the past 10 years happened a couple weeks ago with Wilder versus Fury. And this fight was a great fight, but it sort of got me upset because I'm not going to lie. I was biased. I still am biased. I wanted Wilder to win this fight because I like Wilder and I believe that he has earned the respect of being called the best heavyweight but a lot of people don't want to give him that title which i understand but i think he's the best and i wanted him to win this fight also within this fight tyson fury he actually fought a really really good fight and he was very impressive he got my respect and i am a fan of him now i will definitely watch and support his career going forward because i like him now i didn't like him in the past but just seeing what he did in this fight I really do like him now, and he's really a stand-up guy, respectable guy. He's just a likable person, and I'm a fan now. But some things that happened in this fight were really good, like Tyson Fury, how he kept countering every single time Wilder threw his big right hand. He would literally duck the jab, then just slip the right hand and come back with a nice two-piece every single time. He did that for at least eight rounds of the fight, and... Deontay Wilder didn't follow the game plan that his coach and his trainer set up for him. He didn't follow the game plan. He let his emotions and his want and his greed for the knockout take control of him. And he didn't follow the game plan. But he did get two great knockdowns within his fight. The first knockdown, Tyson Fury, he did feel that he got up. He recovered from it. The last knockdown was a little controversial the one in the 12th round because watching the fight live and I saw Tyson Fury go down the way he fell down he it looked like he was out of there but somehow some way he got up and that's through his championship spirit he got up but I will also admit that while watching it live I noticed the ref finished his 10 count but he just he didn't call the fight off I did notice it. He still gave Tyson Fury like two or three seconds after he finished his 10 count to get up. So that's it's a little controversial. And you can technically say that Wilder technically won the fight because of that. And it should have been a 10 count and the fight should have been over after that. But things happen. And I guess the ref, he felt that Tyson Fury, he deserved like a second chance in the fight but if you take that aspect away from the fight if you take the aspect that the ref gave Tyson Fury a few extra seconds to get up you take that away Tyson Fury won this fight he really did I don't know what I, I was more upset at I don't know if I was more upset at the fact that Wilder he fought the same fight he did against Luis Ortiz where Luis Ortiz was beating him in rounds. The same thing he was doing against Luis Ortiz, where Luis Ortiz was beating him in rounds, is the same thing he did against Tyson Fury, and Tyson Fury was beating him in rounds. Or the second thing I'm mad at is that after the fight's over, and I'm past the knockdown now with the ref of the country, I'm past that now. And then they call it a draw, and I'm like, me being the honest guy I am, I'm I'm not going to lie. Tyson Fury, they kind of robbed him a little bit. I'm not going to say they outright robbed him, but I say just a little bit because I had Tyson Fury winning by, I think, two points. I had him winning by one judge called it a draw. If you call the fight a draw, I can see how you could call it a draw because I think there might have been one or two rounds that was – a little debatable because both of them they was like like jabbing each other a lot within those rounds so there's like one or two rounds you can say that um were debatable then one judge actually had Deontay Wilder winning the fight which I didn't really see and like I said I like De- uh, Deontay Wilder I really do but even with the two knockdowns I didn't really see him winning this fight with points and maybe that's just me i'm not a professional boxing judge i'm not so maybe they're seeing something that i'm not seeing but i just didn't have him winning by points 
So, uh, uh, I guess it is what it is, but I already knew that a draw was coming. I knew that if neither one of them was going to knock each other out, I knew it was going to be a draw because this fight, I'm pretty sure this fight earned a lot of money for every single person involved. And you know in boxing, when there's a chance to make money, they want a rematch. In the contract, they probably had a rematch clause within the contract. And they said, you know what? If no one gets knocked out, we're going to call it a draw. We're going to do a rematch. And in the rematch, more people are going to buy the pay-per-view. And trust me, I will buy the pay-per-view again. Everyone who bought the pay-per-view the first time, they're going to buy it again. They are. That's just how it is. We want to see somebody win. We do. The only downside about this fight being a draw is that we have to wait longer to see one of these fighters fight Anthony Joshua. That's the only downside. We have to wait to see Deontay Wilder fight Joshua, and we have to wait to see Tyson Fury fight Joshua. We have to. Then on top of that, Deontay Wilder is what? 33, 34 years old. So any day now, father time, call him up and say it's your time. So hopefully the rematch. Well, they already announced the date for the rematch. It's on February 2nd. But hopefully this fight, someone will actually be knocked out. We won't have to see no trilogy and we will actually have a winner and they could go on and fight Anthony Joshua. Another great thing that happened from this fight was this Deontay Wilder meme. Oh, my gosh. It's like the funniest meme in I've seen in like the past few months where Deontay Wilder is screaming till this day, till this day, till this day. That meme is too funny. If you haven't seen it, just go on Instagram. It's everywhere. That's so funny. I managed to finish the fight with a strong showing at the end, with Wilder too tired to put him down again. On Showtime scorecards and on social media, many were impressed by Fury's comeback. And from my personal opinion, it seemed as if he had done enough to win the fight. But the scorecards read 115 to 111, Wilder. 114-112 to Fury and 113-113 meaning the fight was a split decision draw.